welcome back, back to 2017. Hope you've had a good Christmas, good New Year's. Today, just it's dinner time. What are you making for dinner? This is what I'm doing. I've got stuffed tomatoes with beautiful fresh mint parmesan. I've got a nice quinoa salad. Uh, it's going to come with some little roast veggies, uh, spinach, and some crumbled feta. So stay tuned. So first up, I'm going to prepare our veggies for the quinoa salad. I've turned the oven on to 160, that's for fan forced. Um, I'm going to add some pumpkin, some beetroot, and some eggplant. So what I'm going to do is just chop these up nice and uniform, um, roast them in the oven for about 20 minutes, and next after that we'll get onto the quinoa, get that cooking, the roast tomatoes. Uh, that's the, probably the easy spit towards the end. So here I go, let's get into it. So what I've got here, just got some nice butternut pumpkin. Just done, just gonna cut them nice, small pieces. Next, we've got our eggplant. And next, we've got our beetroot. Now with the beetroot, I keep the skin on. It's got the best nutrients in it. And maybe with your beetroot, just cut it a little bit smaller cubes because it does tend to take a little bit longer. to my veggies, the beetroot. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit of cracked pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt because I'm gonna add some feta to this quinoa salad. That's gonna give it the saltiness. So what I've got here is a, a baking cooling rack. I love using this to bake in my veggies because the heat can come up through the bottom as well. So I'm just gonna add this on here. Bit of a shape, even it out, and put this into the oven. Now, at the start of the salad, the quinoa, um, pretty much the rule of thumb is with quinoa, we're going to go one part quinoa to two parts water. Um, now, what I usually do, I'll put the quinoa in a pot, give it a bit of a rinse because it gives, has a bit of a taste to it if it's not cleaned properly. So we're going to add two cups of water to that. On the stove, bring it to the boil and let it simmer. Now we're going to head on to our stuffed tomatoes. Um, for the stuffed tomatoes, I've got some, um, some ground beef. I'm going to use half an onion. I'm going to put in some mint. Um, some uh, sand parmesan cheese and I'm going to use already cooked packet brown rice. It's so easy, you don't have to cook it. I have a little bit of olive oil, just to brown it off a bit. So next I'm going to add 250 grams of uh, beef mince. Grab that off. See the quinoa is coming to a bit of a boil here, so I'm going to take the lid off and just let that simmer. Over. We're going to add some mint. I've got about 
two or three sprigs of mint here, it's going to go in, give it a nice flavour. Roughly chopped. I'm going to put that in. Some nice cracked pepper. Now what I've done with this, I've got some parmesan, so it's going to give a nice cheesy flavour. And I'm going to add some already brown cooked rice. I find that's the easiest. Pretty much what you're going to do is heat it up anyway. You're going to put it in with the beef and it's going to go in the oven and cook just like going in the microwave. So we're going to give that a mix. We got Worcestershire sauce. There's our rice mixture to go into the tomatoes. Now with uh, that uh, rice and beef that's all cooked now, we're going to get on to our tomatoes. So with these tomatoes, we're going to take the tops off. Just nice and easily. If you want to make them a little bit flat, you could take the bottom off, but that's up to you if you want to balance them. to take the flesh out of the middle. I just get my good little serrated knife and it's quite flexible so it's going to go all the way around the edges. Let's get a little teaspoon and do the rest. Keep these leftovers, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do later on with them. So we're going to get our tomatoes and start to stuff them. The last one done. Then what I'm going to do is put the lids back on. And I'm going to put these in the oven too. They're going to take probably about 20 minutes to half an hour. They can go at the same time as the roasted veggies. So I'll chuck them in. Now what I said before, I'm going to, re, I'm going to use these uh, tomato bits that I've used, that I've cut out the tomatoes. I'm going to make a little, little pasta sauce for the little one. So I'm going to put it in my new blender. For any of you who know, this other one that I didn't have was a little smaller and did struggle. So I'm going to chuck in some tomato, some onion. A little bit of spinach, which I'm going to also add to our quinoa salad. And I'm also going to grab some oregano. A little sprinkle in there. Just a little a pepper. And we're going to put it on and get it going. And she's done. Too easy. So we're just going to wilt her off um, just a little bit of spinach to put into a quinoa salad. So just a dash of olive oil. Turn it on. And pretty much, we're just going to give it a good turn when it heats up a bit. We're not going to really make it too soggy. So once that's wilted a little bit, you don't want too much because it'll just shrink too much. Just going to scatter that evenly over this beautiful quinoa.
So I'm just going to check the veggies. I'm pretty sure they're right. Ah, oh, perfect. Look at that. See how nice and evenly they are cooked with this uh, cooling rack. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them into this salad. Just a little toss slowly with everything in here. I'm going to get some feta. I just use a reduced fat Greek style feta. Let's break some off and crumble over the top. Now, is this the saltiness as I was talking about before? The saltiness and then adding salt to the veggies. So that's now ready for our dinner. Salad finished. I'm going to get these tomatoes out of the oven. What I love about the Parmesan cheese and these tomatoes, they give it a nice crispy top. There you have it guys, that's my dinner for tonight. Some um, beef stuffed tomatoes with some mint parmesan and some brown rice and a quinoa salad with some roast veggies which include pumpkin, um, beetroot and eggplant with some spinach and feta. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've got more, check down below. Subscribe, thumbs up, share. I love cooking and so should you. I'll see you next time. <laughs> so yeah, let's get on to um, cutting the onion. <laughs> That's my favourite part about you. Oh shit.